There is a hunger and thirst here which cannot be filled or quenched until the end of the Manning Cup's final battle for this 2019 season. And who would have thought the narrative would be similar to what we saw last year as one protagonist seeks to break a 32-year drought. Sinaj Technical firmly into the spotlight as favourites, hoping to replicate their only success in 1987 against a JC team looking to build on their record-breaking achievements and wear the crown for a 30th time. Warm conditions here at the National Stadium, 28 degrees Celsius, and we expect a really good time in these conditions from the players, especially who make their way out. Stats believe on form, they should. JC believe on prestige, they must. And so resolves collide to decide what will. Oh, how we have waited for this moment. A piercing divide, a familiar narrative, but for these 22 boys who grace the field, this is their day of days. The pride of Bumper Hall against that dark blue force from Old Hope Road. Ladies and gentlemen, no calling is bigger. No accomplishment is finer. Both teams on different ends of the spectrum in terms of schoolboy football legacy, with Jamaica College winning the most and St. Andrew Technical winning the least. But stats, as they are affectionately called, believe they stand the best chance of showing just what they are made of to not only replicate the legacy of 1987, but create a new one in 2019. Well, he has blown it off quite a few seconds early, O'Shane Nation. And we are heading to penalties to decide the champions of the 2019 Manning Cup. Yep. It's the lottery. JC have won one, lost one this season. Both were against Kingston College. Stats have only played in one against Wolmers. They won it. So, at this point, it's just who can hold the nerves or hold their nerve. You're expected to score as a kicker. You're a hero if you save as a keeper. And with the added drama of the keeper not taking a foot off the line. Yeah. Well, not added drama. That's just a rule, Dana. <laughs> well, it does add to the drama, doesn't it? Oh, well. Yes, it Follow does. the rules. <laughs> <laughs> but agreed, and that's because many keepers want to get the advantage, so they hop off the line hoping to cut the angle. So the match highlights as we await the penalty shootout. First minute, and St. Andrew Technical with the first opportunity. Daily to Brown and not the right decision by Brown and made it more difficult for himself and was never close, should have used the left foot. Four minutes and JC would have their first opportunity to full fall to their main maximum in Phil and Lawrence, went to go through the legs of Ling and unable to find the gap. Good goalkeeping by Ling, that right foot just coming down at the right time and getting it out. JC, they would continue to come forward, this time Phil and Lawrence provider and Shadeen Lopez Unable to slot it with the left foot. Almost was very weary of goalkeeper Ling who was approaching. And then in the 27th minute, a ball put into the box. Well, misjudged by Daniel Russell and luckily for him, Nick O'Shea Murray was on the line to clear. Or that would have been an embarrassing moment for the JC number one. This now in the second half, Dale is through to Campbell and got a toe Campbell but unfortunately for him it wasn't strong enough and a crunching tackle by Russell. Campbell was later substituted, hopefully he will be fine. And Chanel Thomas was brought on as a substitute, header to the far post and Shadeen Lopez unable to get on the end of it and it's all square after 90. Let's look at the full match statistics and four shots, just two on target for stats, one on target for Jamaica College, which came in the first half from their five, 
31 fouls between the two, one yellow card and 52% possession for stats. Unable to make it count, nil all after 90 minutes. And we go to the penalty shootout. And it will be stats to kick first. That is the substitute. Tariq Barrett. Yeah. A meeting of the minds and hearts and souls for the final time for San Andrew Technical. And it's their captain who comes out of that huddle to step up and shoot first. Decision day from 12 yards. Again. Tariq Barrett looking on. Steve McQueen spotting it. First kick in the shootout, and he scored it. 1-0 stats. Very calm from the captain, leading from the front. Barrett being brought, brought on as the penalty hero, unable to save the first one. Well slotted. Stats are one from one from penalty shootouts this season. Jamaica College, one from two. Tyree Small steps up for Jamaica College. What can the boy from Mountain View do? Settles the ball. Ricardo Lang seeking to deny. Small against Len. Small scores. 1-1. One, one. Good penalty by Small. Gets the right way, Len. But the height. Making it unable. Making him unable to save that one. Good pace behind it as well by Small. That was a good penalty. Well, Tajay Gale is now up, or Tajay Gray, I should say, is now up for St. Andrew Technical. Of course, he came on late, only for this purpose, young Gray. He scores. Oh, my goodness. Purpose fulfilled. Talk about clinical finishing from Tajay Gray. Pinpoint accuracy. Guess the right way, Barrett. But that was right into the far triangle. Impossible to save. Looks as if he does it in the sleep. Yeah. No run-up necessary. Just one step on the finish. Philip Williams with a smile. Okasa Chong now. Can he deliver the equalizer in the shootout? Oh, oh of course well. he can. <laughs> of course he can. Okasa Chong. A confident kick. 2-2. Two, two. One pace behind that. Scored a brilliant three kick with the left foot from 30 odd yards. This one, a penalty with the right and thunderous strike into the back of the net. Look at how that net shoot. Her leg didn't even try to dive. Well, Shamar Gale is going to be taking the next one for St. Andrew Technical. Has didn't have the best game in the 90. Did St. Andrew Technical's number 10. And I tell you what, he must be probably thinking about that. Hoping to deliver, hoping to not let his team down. He is a good kicker with the dead ball. And well, as he said. Daly against Barrett. Daly scores. Oh my goodness ridiculously easy even if he's having a bad day he will score from 12 yards that's what he said again just one step daily oh well talk about the lack of physical kick <laughs> and had barrett on his knees going to his left initially barrett and 
wasn't going to be changing direction so easily. The pressure continues to build inside the National Stadium. Omar Thompson. Gave a kiss to the ball. Omar Cheeky Thompson. Oh, it's crossed the line and only just, only just. Well, that was cheeky from Omar Thompson. If it wasn't just pure luck. Well, talk about pinpoint accuracy. Certainly he didn't mean to hit the inside of the post, obviously. He was going for the far corner. <laughs> A little bit too accurate. <laughs> Luckily for him, it goes behind Link and behind the line. Wow. He will certainly say his prayers tonight. I'm not sure if I've seen that kind of kick in a penalty shootout. Nicholas Bennett. Another sub. Well, he's taking his time about this one, Nicholas Bennett. And he scores. He had to, after all of that. <laughs> The circus act from the substitute was injured earlier in the season, Nicholas Bennett. And he has been enjoying this final, hasn't he? Even from the bench. Yeah. Was dancing earlier. He's dancing before he kicked. Set Barrett the wrong way. And so far, the trick of bringing Barrett on for Russell hasn't worked. Well, the stats players are really confident, but so too the Jamaica College players. Trying to get... The equalizer now through Phil and Lawrence. The man from Holy Trinity. Has to score to keep JC in. To keep them level, Phil and Lawrence. Scores. Four, four. Perfection so far. From Stats and JC with one kick to go. The man to me who has had the best game today, Tyree Small. It's Tyree Smith, sorry. We've seen Small already. Yes. He's a centre back. Mm. Well. Stats with your fifth kick. Tyree Smith against Tariq Barrett. Saved! Wait, it has to be retaken. Oh, wow. The keeper was off his line. It oh. has to be retaken, it seems. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. What a call from O'Shea Nation. Let's see. I don't get it. Why? I don't get it. He was on the line. Both feet were on the line. What has he done wrong? Trying to get the understanding from O'Shea Nation as to why the kick is being... No, well... Oh. They've changed their minds, it seems. The save has been accredited to Tariq Barrett and Jamaica College. Well, that makes more sense. Also, I say, unless O'Shea Nation is saying that he never ever was calling for a retake. No, he was. But there was a miscommunication, I believe, with the assistant referee. So Jamaica College, they have to score. And if they score, they win the Manning Cup. 
Tashir Grant is the one who spot this one for JC. Can he deliver them to the promised land, Tajay Grant? He can! That's title number 30! JC wins! The Money Cup! Well, the fireworks have gone off and the trophy is aloft. There was just a pause in proceedings last year. But Jamaica College blasts on top. 2019 is the Digital Manic of Champions. Jamaica College for the 30th time.